This is Lesson 17, Part 2, and we'll be continuing our work with feet subdivision. In everyday life, we measure time or duration in seconds, minutes, and hours, and in music, we measure time or duration in beats and subdivisions of those beats. The proportion between seconds, minutes, and hours is fixed. So if one hour has gone by, we can know that 60 minutes have gone by and that 3,600 seconds have gone by. We can choose to track time by seconds, minutes, or hours depending on which is most helpful or appropriate given the circumstance. The proportion between beats and subdivisions of those beats into say half beats or quarter beats is similarly fixed. If one beat elapses, we can know that two half beats have elapsed or that four quarter beats have elapsed in that same duration. We can choose to track time or duration in music by beats or subdivisions of those beats, depending on which is most helpful or appropriate given the circumstances. Reviewing our Gordon syllables, do will be a one beat note or our pulse beat. Do will also be used just held for two pulses or two beats for our two beat notes, similarly for three and even four beat notes, do held for the appropriate number of beats. Half beat notes will be represented with do day, where the day comes exactly halfway through the do, and then quarter beat notes, no, not quarter notes, but quarter beat notes, meaning each note is one fourth of a beat, will be represented by the syllables do, ta, day, ta. We're going to start our practice together today by setting the metronome at 60 and grouping beats into threes. We're going to practice saying a steady stream of quarter beat notes. So do, ta, de, tas. We're going to say six of those sets. Let's start by putting the beat into our hands. One, ready, clap. One, ready, speak. Duta data, duta data, duta data, duta data, duta data, duta data. Again, ready, go. Duta data, duta data, duta data, duta data, duta data, duta data. We're going to keep the metronome at 60, keep our beats grouped into threes, and we're going to keep on with our duta datas. But now we're going to say one set out loud, and then we're going to have two full beats of rests. So during that time, I'd encourage you to either whisper or mouth or internally continue to say, Duta data, duta data, duta data. This is practicing keeping that subdivided pulse going. Here's our metronome. One, ready, clap. We're going to do that set of a set of duta datas followed by two one beat rests. We're going to do that two times. One, ready, go. Duta data. Duta data. I'm going to do that one more time. One, ready, go. Duta data. Duta data. We're going to bump our metronome speed up to 80 now, continuing to group beats into threes. And now we're going to say a steady stream of pairs of half beat notes. So do day. We're going to say six of those pairs. First, putting the beat into our hands. One, ready, clap. One, ready, speak. Do day, do day, do day, do day, do day, do day. Again, ready, go. Do day, do day, do day, do day, do day, do day. We're going to keep the metronome at 80, continue to group beats into threes, continue with our do day or half beat pulse. We're going to say one pair of those do days, and then we're going to follow that with two 
beats worth of rests. So a one beat rest followed by another one beat rest. I want you to try and keep that due day subdivided pulse going the entire time though by either whispering, mouthing, or internally saying those due days during the rests. We're going to repeat that pattern, a pair of due days followed by two one beat rests, a total of four times. One ready clap. One ready speak. Do day. Do day. Do day. Do day. We're going to do that one more time. One ready go. Do day. Do day. Do day. Do day. We're now going to work through applying this subdivided pulse to a few examples I've written down with increasing rhythmic complexity. So we're going to pretend we're in 4-4 four, four time. So the top number tells us there will be four beats per measure. And I've just written out one measure examples. And then the bottom number tells us that a quarter note is our beat or pulse note. It will receive one beat, so we can apply that to our pyramid. One beat for quarter notes and quarter rests. Two beats for half notes and half rests. Four beats for whole notes and whole rests. Half a beat for eighth notes and eighth rests. And a quarter of a beat for each sixteenth note or sixteenth rest. Looking at our three examples, I notice that our smallest note value is our eighth note, which in this time signature, those are our half beat notes. So we will say do day for those notes. Because of that, I'm going to choose to try and subdivide the pulse into do day. So instead of just tracking do, 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 do. I'm going to be thinking internally or even when and if appropriate, whispering or mouthing a steady stream of do day, do day, do day, do day. We're going to set the metronome slower right now, 55. So we have more time both to think and to get our bodies to respond to what our brains are asking them to do. And we're going to try and keep that steady stream of due days going, either internally or in a whispered or mouthed way. Here's our beat. Ready, clap. One, two, ready, speak. Do, do day, do, do. One more time. Ready, Go. Do, do day, do, do. Looking at example two, you're going to see that there's now a rest, an eighth rest taking the place of one of the eighth notes. So I'm going to introduce another helpful strategy as we start looking at increasingly complex rhythms, and that is to mark our do's or our one beat marks with slash marks. So for example, here's our first do. Our second do is actually going to fall right on that rest. And that rest, that eighth rest, worth half a beat, together with the eighth note, worth half a beat, will comprise that entire next do. They'll take up that whole space of one beat. So our next do falls here, and our final do falls here. Okay, so what I would recommend is, again, internally saying do day, do day, do day, do day, or even considering whispering or mouthing that, especially during the rest. So I'll just do this loudly for as an example right now. Do, do day, do, do. I'll do that again. Do, do day, do, do. Do. So I'm whispering kind of aggressively right now the rest just so that we account for it and we know when to put that spoken day, this note right here, when to actually say that, okay? Keeping our slow metronome pulse at 55. 
One, two, ready, clap. You notice these beats will line up with those red slash marks. That can be a helpful way of just kind of keeping track of where we're at. One, two, ready, speak. Do, day, do, do. Do that one more time. One, two, ready, clap. One, two, ready, speak. Do, day, do, do. Next example will also mark those slashes again, especially as we get rests that fall right on a do. It can be very helpful visually to see this. So we'll mark a do there. Our next do will fall here, meaning our next beat will fall there. Our next full beat will fall here, and our last beat will fall there. If that doesn't make sense, pause the video and just do that math of adding up our half beats to make one beat. All right, again, metronome at 55, mouthing or whispering loudly the do's that fall right in those rests would be very helpful, keeping a steady stream of do days going internally. One, two... Ready, clap. One, two, ready, speak. Do, day, day, do. Trying that one more time. Ready, clap. One, two, Ready, speak. Do, day, day, do. Eventually, what you can work on is just getting that do increasingly quieter. So an aggressive whisper at first is fine, even if it's almost full normal talking voice there. That's okay. Work it down so that eventually as it gets easier, you can whisper it, then you can mouth it, and eventually you can just think that internally. We will continue our work with Rhythm Workshop by Sally K. Albrecht. We are on exercise 11 in the 4-4 section. We're still in 4-4 time, so we're not going to redo our pyramid. In looking at this example, I see a lot of eighth notes. So I'm going to choose the eighth note or the half beat note as the subdivided pulse that I'm going to continually track internally or in a whispered or mouthed way. So I'm going to be saying a steady stream of do days. Looking ahead to this measure right here, measure four, I just am going to take the time to mark my do beats with a little red slash mark. So here's my first do. Together, those first two eighth notes will be the first beat. And then second beat will fall there. The third do will fall here. And the fourth one will fall there. I'm also going to do the same in this measure because that's another tricky one where there's going to be a rest that falls right on a do. So I'm going to mark do, another do, another do, and another do here. You can mark it throughout the entire example, but I'm just doing this to save a few moments here. So we're going to set our metronome at that slow 55 beats per minute. One, two, ready, clap. And I'd recommend whispering strongly the do that falls in the rests. Ready, speak. Do day, do day, do day, do day, do day, do, do day, do, do day, do day, do, do day, do day, day, do, do day, do, do day, do, do day, do day, day, do, do, do. Do day, do day, do, do day, do, do.